seeing and hearing a lot of reaction to the Chauvin verdict today. Among those weighing in, professional athletes. Fox 9's Pierre Newsham joins us now with more on the reaction from the sports world to this verdict, Pierre. Yeah, Rainey and Kelsey, since the murder of George Floyd, we've seen countless athletes speaking on social justice issues. We've seen them march in protest rallies, and so many thoughts, reactions, and opinions were shared today via social media. The Timberwolves, Lynx, Twins, Wild, and United all released statements after today's verdict, as did the Vikings, and the Vikings statement reads as follows. The past year following George Floyd's death has been extremely painful for the Minnesota community, particularly the state's black residents. While today's decision does not minimize the anguish or solve the intolerable issues of racism and hate, we hope it can mark the beginning of community healing. Now more than ever, it is crucial to respectfully listen, communicate, and engage in order for us to move toward an equitable society. We must address the unacceptable continued violence and hate toward people of color and commit to using our individual and collective voices to end the divisiveness and racial injustice. Our work is just beginning. Our commitment is unwavering. As an organization, we will build upon the foundation we have already established in the following critical areas, reducing socioeconomic disparities, implementing educational curriculum on racism and black history, and advocating for law enforcement and criminal justice reform. We will continue to be agents for positive, transformational, and sustainable change. Meanwhile, on Twitter, LeBron James reacting to today's verdict. His reaction, a simple one, tweeting accountability. And Timberwolves center Carl Anthony Towns also took to Twitter to share his thoughts, tweeting justice and accountability, things I never thought I would see. There's much more work to do, but this is an amazing start working toward the reform this country needs. The Wolves are in Sacramento tonight to face the Kings. Head coach Chris, Chris Finch speaking on behalf of the team before tonight's contest, saying, the player's reaction to the verdict was one of relief, but also acknowledges the toll this has all taken on the community. We see the visual reinforcement of what's happening with, you know, whether it be National Guards in our street or um, the Brooklyn Center protests. These are things we can't escape. Um, and it's perfectly okay to not think about basketball when we think about these other larger things in life that are right in our face and we're trying to deal with as a community. Now, I asked Finch if there was a contingency plan if today's verdict would have been different. He said there was some talk, but stated there wasn't an either-or scenario planned uh, depending on the result. Nevertheless, the Wolves did take the court tonight, and they are currently in action as we speak. Guys.